In today's video, I'm using up a bunch of leftover paints. I'm going to be doing some flowers with the puddle pours, and then I'm going to run a stick through them to create an almost paisley design with the flowers. I'm working on two six inch canvases, and I wanted to do a cute little set of paintings. So I'm not going to try and do the same um, flower on each painting, but I do want them to match each other nicely. For the background, I'm going to add the greens at the bottom of my canvases and then use my airbrush to blow them out and create a feeling of grass for the background. And I have each of my colors mixed with Sargent Art Gloss Medium and water, and I used these paints in my previous dip video. I really wanted to just use up the leftover paints since it was a really nice color palette. I also have some greens left over from my um, previous technique that I did like this. I also have a little bit of white paint mixed up and I'm using that just to help uh, my other colors move when I use the airbrush to do those greens. I have three shades of green that I'm using. One is a really nice dark shade and then I have two lighter shades. And I think they blend together nicely just to give the background a little bit of a different feel than just using one shade of green. Once I had my green paint down, I just used my airbrush to blow the colors up. And then once I was finished with that, I just started using my pipettes to um, put small puddles of each of my colors down before I used my stick to run through them and create the paisley design. I wanted to make sure that uh, each flower didn't look exactly the same, but I just took each of my colors and started alternating them uh, on the canvas and then using the stick to run through them. And I started with some lighter pinks and then added some darker ones. And then I also used the coral and the gold and just really had a nice time changing up each of the flowers to look a little bit different on each of the canvases.
like the way that these turned out. They really dried nicely and I think that background was a great addition to just change this up a little bit. But I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and let me know if you'd like to see this again with some other colors and I will definitely try it out. I think this definitely has a lot of potential to do some really pretty patterns and I also may try some more coasters with this to see what I can create and how those turn out compared to larger canvas pieces. But thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.